Hi, what are you doing? I am getting all of our snacks ready um, and I'm taking all the food that we're taking with us for the next few days and I'm putting them into things that will be acceptable for snacks on the drive for the next few hours or and all the food that's just coming with us so that we have food in the coming days. Should we share what's exciting? I think we should keep it a secret. <laughs> um, when we talk to Liam, it's not a secret. That's okay. <laughs> for the rest of the world, it's a secret. Right? Not bad. I was expecting 12.30. So 12.40, actually 12.35, we're... We're pretty good. Pretty good. Lots of food packed. Yeah, drinks, clothes. Yeah, all the gear. Snacks. Most importantly. Snacks, yep. <laughs> and James yeah. wrote snacks. That's right. But for the rest of us people. Yes. Yeah. Mom, a snack. Please. A snack in a bit. Nap first, okay? Blow kisses. <laughs> Night. Have a good nap. For pit stop, you can see this is normally road slime. Right now, it's road ice. Looks spectacular. What about the back? All right, pit stop a bit further down the road. The nastiness on the truck is getting worse. Like, where's my finger? It's, I had a hard time opening the door. Oh, it's so thick on the front tire, I was having a hard time turning into the parking lot. Yeah, that hurt a bit more than it should. Daddy is going over and helping that gentleman. He, he can't get out of his car because it's so frozen, he couldn't open his door. So Chris has gone over to open his door for him. Leah, would you like to show the hotel room? What do we have? So, this is the play area. And yeah. then you come around the corner <gasps> here, there is the kitchen. Yeah. And then, yeah. <gasps> What's this? Aww. I'm not going to be sleeping in here. Instead, I'm going to be sleeping in this room. Room for me. What did you call this room? Oh, the playroom. Great. We do all of our playing and laughing. Yeah, and we're going on to this over around, and this is where I'm going to sleep. I still don't know where James is coming. Sleep. We're going to get a playpen for James. So we were hoping to go to a car wash this morning to get rid of all of the awesome, but unfortunately they're broken. So instead, Chris is doing the next best thing pulled over at a gas station and at least getting our windows cleaned so that we will have a better view of the lovely sunny day. Good morning, my love. Good morning. Exciting day. It is an exciting day. We get to share with everybody else what the excitement is all about. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I'm still drinking my coffee, so I'm not quite winning yet. All right, that's fine. Good morning, James. How are you? Good. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, because I think that is Granny Jan's farm there. Well, that is a farm, but it's not Granny Jan's farm. We're a bit Just far away. Really? Okay, so we've got some snacks going in the truck, and uh, I 
have fruit and little snack cups, but I've decided that I am no longer uh, going to be handing James some fruit because it's coming out of a container that has a banana in it and I have to bite the skin off and I do not want to eat banana flavored apple skin. Oh, the plate of being a co-pilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The or, toddler or mummy co-pilot. The plate of being a stewardess. Oh, you Flight know what? Attendant? You know what? I take, I, respect that. I take my job very seriously that I am here to support the kids and support you and make things easier. But again, no more banana flavored apples here. Uh, no, you're gonna get one. No, I'm gonna get the container of fruit in the back. Well, when we stop it and say in the back that it already has peeled apple that does not make the banana. Alright, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> good morning. Yeah. How are you today? Good. That's good. What are you requesting? What do you think James has? Um, green cup with. A snack cup with kiddo trail mix? Mm -hmm. It's still so cool. Some of it's still really hard. Yeah. But some of it. Some of the scales are uh, melting off. <laughs> scales! I'd like to check out scales. James, what's daddy doing? Washing. What's he washing? Muck. He's washing the muck? Yeah. You will be safe, we're in the truck. What do we see? I think I see our trailer. <gasps> really? In a parking lot. In the parking lot? No, you just, you were just pointing at our trailer. Daddy's just closing some things. Lovey, this one's ours. Did you see what was in the window? So, Liam's been bugging us for a tennis racket. And they happen to have a tennis set here at the uh, RV shop. So, Mommy and Liam are playing tennis while little James is calming down in the trailer with a screen. Morning, everyone. You can tell I got my morning hair going on. Well, last night, or sorry, first night in the new trailer. It's pretty, uh, pretty special. There's a few things we've got to remember how to do, but uh, nothing too exciting. So we've got uh, James is up and moving around. Uh, it's probably around 6 a.m. It's getting bright out. So we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do. It'll be breakfast in time for coffee soon, tea. We'll get some food into the boys. We're going to get packed up here this morning and uh, start rolling, rolling north, get back to Fort St. John today. So our first night in the trailer was surreal actually. Um, it wasn't, it's like I couldn't process it, it was really ours. Um, I was so focused on taking care of the kids or taking pictures or answering questions or getting paperwork done that like it took me quite a while to have that emotional moment of oh like this is ours and and this gets to be 
a new part of our reality. And so, you know, getting in there and getting everything unpacked and settled and feeding the boys, I was so glad that we were taking our time and feeling relaxed with our time because it really meant that everything was smooth for the family. You know, the boys got fed and they got into bed before seven and they were ready to sleep. They'd had time to run and play and they'd had excitement. And so it, it was a good day for the whole family. And it meant that once they were asleep, Chris and I just got to relax, um, do a little bit of unpacking in the trailer, share some photos on social media, um, talk to our parents and, and really celebrate um, celebrate this milestone for our family. Um, it was a shorter night of sleep than we wanted. Um, you know, we still have to figure out how to make sure the furnace is blowing warmer through the whole trailer and not just into the bathroom. Um, James was fussing at about 4.30 in the morning and by 5.30 I thought maybe he's cold. He wasn't, but of course going to him meant that I was now his buddy. And so he came into bed with us and that meant that we were all awake by six um, and excited for the day. But uh, you know what, the sun is shining and we have adventures and you know, things to solve um, and things to work out and figure out, but I'm so glad to be here. All right, everybody. Hey, Liam, where are we? James, what city are we in? That's right, Dawson Creek with the famous zero mile marker for the Alaska Highway. So next on our list is getting the oil changed with the truck and we don't think that it's gonna be successful to pull the trailer through. So Chris is just in the process right now of going in and saying, hi, what is going on with my hat? Do, do I, like, is my head crooked? Is the hat crooked? Is the phone crooked? All right, never mind. Okay, hat. Oh, so, okay, did you, get, did you get water? No. Did the other RVers have water ideas? No. Okay, I I have water well, ideas. Well, actually, no, oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. They suggested maybe the pool. Oh, I mean, maybe. Okay. Yeah, we have water. <laughs> Points to Sharon for seeing a spigot. Thank you. Feeling a bit cheeky, but... Water is free in Canada. Yep. We're not costing anybody money. We're not putting anybody out. Have baths tonight and let my lovely have a shower in the morning. That would be very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, how good does it feel? We persisted. We did, we got water. Ooh. And so, you know, that's kind of a check mark, but now my brain is already moving on to the next check mark we have to deal yep. with, which is a place to stop for the night. Yep, yep. And dinner and etc. I just want to celebrate. We counted 12 no's. We asked businesses, places we thought were going to be servicing for RVs, and yes, it's mid-April. Yes, the up here in the north it's cold and people are concerned and don't have their taps turned on yet. Twelve no's, and we kept searching. And it just shows me that we will find solutions. Dinner time, guys. Come to the trailer. Good morning, my loves. Good morning. It's a bit early for a departure. Well, early break gets the worm. That's true. Um, well, it is a bit early. Um, we ran out of propane about 3 a.m. It got cool. So the chair cooled off. It wasn't freezing or anything last night, which no, is good. No, thankfully. Current morning temperature is plus one. Yes. Um, it was definitely, I'd like to say, snuggling under the blankets. Actually, it was so cold at 6 a.m., I decided that I would bring the clothing that we were going to wear today, which was, thankfully I packed extra clothes, um, into the bed to warm them up so we were not putting on cold underwear and cold socks and cold shirts and stuff. So. I think some children may still be in their pajama shirts, uh, so they stayed extra warm. And so now we are optimistic that we will find uh, a spot on route uh, to fill up with propane, and then we can stop and actually have breakfast. I do. Hey. What's the game plan? Good news. Yes? They fill propane. That is great. What are you looking for? Um, hmm. Does it?
so much for spring coming. Almost the end of April. Cool.